We will explain in this session how to download the Android application, what are the different channels, and what are the different versions of the application, training, production, and SMS. So we have explained how to download it. So at this moment, you should, if you have installed the application, you should see this screen. And Marta was explaining at the beginning that you could build a QR code because some people find it difficult sometimes and it's the common mistake to mistype this. So we did that for you. So if you have installed the application and you click on the QR code icon there, you should uh, point at the screen and this should take you to the server. And here we are asking you to put the user and password from the previous session. Again, we are talking about the Android user and not the admin user. You were given two users. One is the admin that we're gonna be using to manage the server. And one is the Android that we're gonna be using when using the Android device. <clears throat> Sorry. So when you connect, I think Abdel already have shared in the, in the Slack, he was seeing only two programs. So this means that probably he had made a mistake while configuring the, the program, but this is what you should expect seeing. So there is the first one, which is a share program with all of you that we will be using for uh, support, uh, sorry, for additional um, exercises. Then we have the second one, which is a data set, an aggregate. And then we have the third one. And this is the one that you have set up. And in the previous session, I was telling you, well, if you play with the display and you play with the different attributes, etc., depending on what you do, you will be seeing one thing or another one. So this one is my search screen based on the attributes I have defined as searchable in my server. So this is what we see. Once you um, connect to the application, so you open the application for the first time, by default, it's gonna perform a metadata synchronization. This means downloaded all the information it might use when going offline. Uh, I'm putting this here because changes in the server are not automatically reflected on your device. So if you are playing now with the server and you tell me, yeah, but I have changed something in the server, but I don't see my phone. Yes, it's because you need to perform a synchronization. The phone, <clears throat> At this moment, I think it's configured to check every week. So every week we'll ask for new metadata synchronization um, yeah, to, to pull the metadata changes. But if you want to force this, you can go to home. So you click on the menu, you go to settings, sync configuration and sync configuration now. And then the new, date, the new changes will be downloaded. So in case you want to change some searchable fields to see how the, um, the program search form changes, Please do this. That's it. I think, yeah. So exploring the Android app, Marta did a very quick demo at the beginning of the day. So what we're asking you is now to kind of, well, not reproduce a demo, but explore a bit the application. And this is what we're asking you to do. As an exercise that you need to submit. So <clears throat> of course you will need to download the application. This doesn't count for the exercise, but you need to do it because if not, you will not be able to do the exercise. You need to um, submit three screenshots. One is with a TE search screen. Make sure the mandatory fields match the ones you selected in the previous session. So by default, it's gonna match because you have defined some searchable fields and the mandatory and you will see what happens. Uh, we are asking you to register and um, to, 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 yeah, you have to register a new TI. So you can register yourself or you can register a um, fictional TI. And we want to see that you know how to explore and you can go to different stages. And you can, for example, go to the lab um, request and take a screenshot of that. Like this, we, you prove that you know how to navigate. As a, one thing that you can ask, but uh, we will not credit, but I think it's good that you guys know because of the support I was planning, a screenshot of the storage used by the application. So when you have done, performed different things, if you go to the store that I quickly demoed, you could see that it increases when you start registering stuff, but it also proves that you know how to go. Again, this is extra points, you can submit or not, but I think it's a good idea if you go through the exercise. Of doing it. So that's it. The, you have now five minutes. I know it's not much, but uh, 
we um, we still have the next hour doing support so don't worry you can stay that hour but that's optional but feel free to submit that's what we're asking for and if you want the last the next hour we're going to be here helping you um this is it i'm gonna leave you five minutes you can mute me if you want because i'm gonna go through the first five or six slides explaining what this um what i missed at the beginning because of the recording so I'm going to do like this. So uh, second attempt, I'm sorry for those that joined the video um, are joining offline because I forgot to click on the record button. I think you missed the first four or five slides. So I'm going to quickly go through them. Basically, I was saying that in this session, what we are asking you to do is download the Android application. And we will try to explain the different channels to download them. <clears throat> There are several options to load. The first one is the Google Play, then we have GitHub, and then we have the own store. The last one, we're not covering it here, but just for you to know that on the last day, we will be talking a little bit quickly about this. And this is for you to allow to set in your own store and decide when do you want to publish the new releases in case they're published. So you control completely the, <coughs> sorry, the release time. In the Google Play is the one you maybe know. If you go to Play Store in Google, you can look for DHS2 and you will find this application. At the moment, we're in the version 2.5. And also to know that we have the GitHub where we produce different, where well, we upload different versions of the application. And it's important to know that we're gonna be talking mainly about two different versions. The first one is production. And the next one is training. production is the one that goes both to GitHub and to Play Store. And the difference between that one and the training is that it's ready for production in terms that some security flags have been enabled. And this is something that you find annoying, but we think, well, we know, and we're following a specific security framework called OWASP that says you should enable this security flag for users not being able to do this and this and this. One of those things is, for example, not being able to take screenshots when you're using the application. And another one is not being able to install in rooted devices. So this is with the production, the first one that you see here. In the third one, which is the training, which I put here in bold, that is the one we're asking you to download. These security flags have been removed. And this is because in the exercises, we'll be asking you how to, well, in the exercise, we ask you to submit the screenshots proving that you have acquired the knowledge and you have gone through the exercise that we are explaining and asking you to, to perform. Yeah. So you will not be able to take screenshots if you're installing the one from the Play Store. So please make sure you install the training application. And in order to install the training application, you can go to GitHub. But if you point your phone at this screenshot and the screen, the QR code should bring you already to this website, which is our releases website from GitHub. And here down, you have the assets. By clicking on the training app, this should pop up something like this in your phone which is not allowed to install unknown applications. By clicking the settings, you can go to allow temporarily, I think it is, I think it depends on the version of the phone, and you should be able to install the application. Once you install the application, uh, you should be able to find it through your list of applications, your application drawer. And one other thing I was saying before that is worth mentioning is that, um, if you go to the application, and let me quickly demo that. I'm gonna share the screen. So this is the application. And once I have installed the application, the training one has a different icon in black and orange. So I can go to settings, app, details to training app storage. And in newer versions of Android, I think from four, which is not new anymore, but if you click here for a while, and go to app info, I'm gonna be reaching this. This is a useful screen that allows me to see which version is installed. 
but also allows me to clear the cache and clear the data. Just for you to know that sometimes, for example, if you have not properly set up your uh, server and you have given to a specific user too much uh, data to metadata to download, your initial synchronization might take too much or too long. So by coming here, you could force the stop of the application and this will allow you to maybe make some changes and, on the server and trigger the new metadata sync. I think it's worth knowing this because some people have issues while troubleshooting. So I could now force stop and this is gonna stop my application. Please understand that if you clear the data, I'm marking it here in red in the application, uh, you will be deleting your local data. So whatever it has not been synced to the server will be lost forever. And I think this is where I started recording. So now you can go jump back to the <laughs> other session. I'm very sorry for this. Um, I hope it doesn't happen again. It's uh, we, we thought that this year was better to break the sessions in different recordings because last years we were pausing it, but then you, you end up having a, a very long video. And I think that for those who are following offline, maybe some of you are following two sessions online and two offline, we think it's better to have different recordings. So hopefully it will not happen again. Sorry. Um, so I'm gonna start asking questions, answering questions. Um, so I'm going back to the first question from Jean-Paul. I use Google Play to download to download the DHIS2 capture. Where can I find the URL in order to sign in? So in the slides, you can see the URL, which is academy.android.dhis2.org, which is the same. If you're asking actually, yeah, that's the, the same one that you were using to connect with the admin user. But again, if you have downloaded the version from the Play Store, you will not be able to take screenshots. So you will find maybe ways, maybe you wanna submit with another phone, but we are encouraging you to install the training application because the goal of this application is to bypass the security flags and for you to work in a more comfortable way. <clears throat> So thanks, James. I, I see that you, you had answered him. Thank you very much. So possible to download my tablet daily. Yes, Jean-Paul, you can go to the URL that I was sharing on the slides. I'm gonna actually reshare my screen again because if you have a camera in that tablet and you point here to this QR code that I'm gonna leave there for a while, you should be asked, well, you should be taken to a URL, which is our GitHub. And from there, you should see the three assets and you can click and download. And install the applications, right? Um, I'm taking... Okay, we have a question here. Um, uh, I'm thinking, sorry, because this, I think we are already over time in terms of the official schedule. So now we should be starting with the Q&A session. Marta, we're not going to be recording the sessions, are we? No, we don't need to record the Okay, questions. then what we're going to do, I'm going to stop the recording and we will be answering questions. We're going to be here for one, well, 50 more, 52 more minutes, but I will stop the recording. So we stay here, but like this, we stop. Maybe some of you are don't want to talk while being registering, so...